a billionaire to walk in space, but uh, first I have a colleague do the same thing, and virtually his other two on that same rocket ship uh, were all private citizens, uh, not government workers or astronauts, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, he is kind enough to join us right now. Derek Isaacson is his name, is Polaris Dawn Mission Commander. Again, as I say, the first civilian to walk in space, his colleague did the same, and that was pretty electrifying stuff to watch, Derek. But I was reading that you really didn't have much time to appreciate the enormity of what you were doing or even look back at the Earth. You had work to do, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, uh, you know, we set out with Polaris Dawn uh, to achieve some pretty substantial mission objectives. Uh, as you mentioned, we traveled furthest from the Earth since the last time humans walked on the moon more than 50 years ago. It's a far more threatening environment the farther away you get from Earth. There's more radiation, there's more micrometeorites. Um, and that's just a reality we're going to have to uh, deal with if we're going to go back to the moon and Mars. We also test, uh, built new spacesuits. Uh, these are the first new spacesuits capable of spacewalks uh, that have been built in more than 40 years because it's, it's very hard when you throw away all the protections of a spaceship and your actual clothing essentially becomes your mini spaceship. Uh, so we had a lot to test there, and then we were also testing some new uh, space-based laser communications with a pretty incredible violin performance and a bunch of science and research. So I think for the reality is over five days, we didn't have much time uh, at all for the views. We, we just had a lot of work to get done. You know, it was all a private effort. You were a private citizen, very successful. So your company, um, Shift4, which is really a payment company, might be the means by which this happens in the future, right? You would be the vehicle, no pun intended, to make that happen, or your company will, right? Well, I, I mean, my uh, my day job is kind of, uh, you know, what it is, which is, uh, you know, we, we power payments uh, for about a third of the restaurants, hotels, and, and, and a far greater percentage of stadiums in the country. But, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what's kept me busy ever since I was 16 and started that business. But I've had parallel careers in aviation and defense aerospace and sure. very passionate about commercial uh, space. I mean, look, it's, uh, it's not going to remain the exclusive domain uh, of world governments anymore. Like space is going to be opened up for everyone. You're going to have uh, manufacturing capabilities in space. You're going to have lunar bases. You're going to have a Mars outpost. Um, and it's not just going to be government astronauts. Um, it's going to be commercial astronauts like myself and the rest of our crew. Uh, that are out trying to build this more exciting future that, you know, we all dream to live in someday. Yeah, but there's got to be a way and a means to do it, right? Your company, I don't want to belabor the point, just might be that that vehicle. And I, I'm just wondering how you see this booming with your success and the crew's success and this very successful mission itself going as far out as you did in this unusual elliptical orbit. This could be a preview of coming attractions, right? Well, I think what's really exciting about it all is that it is privately funded, right? And uh, if you think right. back to the 1960s, which is when the last time we were doing things like this, developing new spacesuits, traveling out, you know, farther than the International Space Station, it was funded through four and a half percent of of U.S. GDP. I mean, you know, NASA had a huge portion right. of our budget during the space race. What's exciting now is you have these basically Manhattan level projects going on to make life multi-planetary to get to Mars, and it's being privately funded, privately funded by the likes and of Elon working. Musk, it myself, All right. Yeah. Jared, I don't mean to jump in you there, because the five is now.